In this tutorial we're going to look at the loft feature. Um, what that does is it, it joins uh, a couple of shapes together, um, the profiles of it, to create like a nice three-dimensional organic form. Um, so first thing we want to do is we want to establish a series of working planes. So um, of course the easiest way to do that is to create yourself just the rough box. You don't need to be so fussy on with um, the shape. There's no particular size that we're after. Um, what we then do is um, start to create our series of planes. So that's our first one. Once we've done, once we've got our first work plane, we can then afford to then turn off on our browser our component. Click on the work plane now, and then right click on the work plane and then go repeat. The distance is completely up to you. It varies depending on the design or the loft that you want to create. Again, select your plane, right click on it, and then go repeat. Select, right click, repeat. Select, right click, repeat. Now we can start to create our series of sketches on each work plane. So if we go to Sketch, New Sketch, be sure to select Work Plane 1. And then here we can start. So I'll start with a circle. <coughs> Clearly there's our center point which is nice and handy. And I'll do something like that. Enter. Now we can go and create our second sketch. Let's do something a little bit more interesting. Let's uh, let's get a polygon. Like so. Now let's uh, let's do a ellipse. Oops, so I forgot to go file new sketch. Select the sketch. Beautiful. Now we'll do a new sketch on our fourth plane. Let's do, let's do another circle. And then let's do our final sketch. And let's do a rectangle. Of course, you don't have to just use um, the basic shapes. You can create any shape you want. Um, so now it's just a matter of going to Create, Loft, select the profiles or plane uh, faces. So in this case, we want to select the faces as we go. Once you're happy with them, you click enter. Now this is totally different to um, revolve because clearly it's not just a circular revolve. It's got various um, shapes and angles and dents as you can see. It's got a nice organic feel. So it's, got, it's a square at the bottom, circle at the top and then all sorts of shapes in the middle. Um, again, that can come really handy when when you're creating an organic uh, product or building, um, you know, a torch or a hairdryer. Um, it really starts to look like a um, a product you can use. So, hopefully, that's helped you understanding or under, how to understand how to use the loft. Um, now, go and have a try for yourself.